The death of a well-known St. Charles County lawyer was initially called a tragic accident. But tonight, we've learned the cause of attorney John Watson's death could be criminal. Thank you for being with us. I'm Ann Allred. And I'm Art Holliday. Mike Bush has the night off. Five on your side's Christine Byers has the exclusive story. John Watson spent his career in public service. He served nearly 18 years as former Missouri Governor Jay Nixon's Chief of Staff. He stepped in as the Missouri State Auditor in 2015 after the death of Thomas Schweik. And for the past 20 months, he was the attorney for St. Charles County until his death in August. County Executive Steve Ellman hired him. What was the attitude and the morale like in the office when this news hit? Well, again, the young attorneys especially and, and those of on my staff, including myself, who, who spent the most amount of time with him, were just uh, uh, totally shocked by it. His obituary called his death a, quote, tragic accident. But now, sources familiar with the case tell Five on Your Side it's a homicide investigation, and that his office inside the county administration building was sealed with crime scene tape. They say Lake St. Louis police found Watson's body at the bottom of stairs inside his house and that at least one family member has retained a prominent defense attorney. Lake St. Louis Police Chief Chris G. Giuseppe issued a statement, which read in part, based on a preliminary assessment of the scene, police initially believed that Mr. Watson's death was a tragic accident. However, investigators are continuing to gather information and are awaiting official reports from the medical examiner's office and other investigative forensic units. He said his department has turned over the investigation to St. Charles County Prosecutor Tim Lomar. What can you say so far about the investigation to the death of John Watson? The crime scene evidence appears to be inconsistent with an accidental death. Perhaps the autopsy will help us, um, the autopsy and the medical examiner's report will help us answer some of those questions. Meanwhile, those who worked with Watson say they will continue their efforts to improve the St. Louis region. I will continue to proceed with those, um, but I sure wish John was still there at my side to help me. Christine Byers, five on your side. John Watson was 61 years old when he died. County Executive Steve Ailman says the county is still working to hire a permanent replacement.